Hello again lads and lasses. So I saw Danny Baker had a hate tweet the other day um, and he said the royal baby, he, he posted a picture of the royal baby and it was a chimpanzee. I mean, oh Christ. Danny, 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 Danny. And, and what I thought was interesting was what we, what we got to see play out straight away was the sort of three part act of a thought crime. And I, I thought it would be fun to take a look at that because it, it always starts with <clears throat> where the initial act is that word get around word gets around and that uh, if you're a sort of politically incorrect white man you get the message you get the subliminal message that one of us has gone over the top. Danny Baker has actually tweeted a, a picture of the royal baby as a chimpanzee. He's just thought, fuck it. He's, ju he's just running, running towards the barbed wire fence. And everybody else is looking. We can't believe it. We can't believe it. He's cut loose. He's cut loose of the program. And he's on the run. And he's heading for the barriers now. He's heading for the fucking... He's heading for the barbed wire fence. And, and secretly, normal white men love it. They love it because some one of them... Somebody's gone over the top. Danny Bake has gone over the top and committed a thought crime and he doesn't give a shit. He's running straight for the fucking bar wire fence. But then the problem is, Act 2 kicks in straight away. And as he's on the way, the drones, the, the, the alarms go off at the lefty drones in blue, blue tick Twitter HQ. And the drones are then deployed to swoop on Danny. And you can see it. Is he gonna, What's going to happen now? Is he ever going to get him? Is Danny going to buckle? Go, and, you, and you go on, Danny, go on, just don't back down, just keep going, just keep going, just run towards the light, Danny, just keep going, and the fucking drones are swarming all over him now, absolutely, just all over him, you can't even see Danny anymore because of all these lefty bastards all over the place, and then the first crack appears, they've got him, the first crack appears, and it's when Danny retweets and he says, hey, hey, come on, guys, come on, guys, it's just a joke. It's just a joke. Can't you take a joke anymore in this bloody country? Come on, guys. But of course it's not enough and the knives go in. The knives go in. They want his fucking blood. They want his balls. They want him dead. They want him out of town. They want him gone. And it's still another tweet pops up on Danny's face. Oh, come on. Hey, come on. Take it easy, guys. It was just a stupid joke. It's just a stupid joke. And it's not enough. The first newspaper headline drops in The Independent. Why the hell is this racist trash working at the BBC? Oh, Christ, they're going after your job now, Danny. They're going after your job. Another one drops at the Guardian. Oh, fuck me. But it's after hours. It's after hours and the BBC can't respond. Meanwhile, Danny's still trying to fight them off. He still just wants to laugh this off. Hey, come on, guys. It's a joke. It's just crazy banter. And the knives are keep going in and the slash is fucking throat right open. And then it goes quiet. It goes quiet over the night, and the next day the bombshell. As soon as as soon as the executive at the BBC opens that laptop, Danny is fired. He's fired in a fucking second. And then he goes on. But the lefties still want him. They still want his balls on a plate. And Danny tweets again. Oh, hey, come on. I, I understand now. I understand that it was stupid. I, it was just a stupid joke. What the hell was I thinking? But, you know, I mean, let's still not take... Oh, it's not enough. It's not enough, Danny. They want you dead. They want you dead. You're fired. And he does a brave one as well where he says, Hey, you know what it is at the end of the day? Fuck them. Fuck the BBC. At the, uh, they, they, sold, they sold me out straight away. There's a bit of fight left in them there. There's a bit of fight left in him, but the savaging goes on and on. More newspaper articles, more people calling him a racist bastard. So there's all oh, the cultural Marxists are getting in, and so why the hell? Why the hell is this man not being arrested by the police? He's a get the police on this case, and then he drops his arse totally. Then he's really in trouble, and then he's a broken man because then he comes out and he says, "You know, what was I thinking? What the hell is just some stupid?" white loser like me think what was i thinking what how can i ever understand the struggle of the black man how can i ever be so stupid as to think that I, this was could be anyway for i don't know what i was thinking i must have been mad i must have lost my mind i was insane for a few moments there but i understand the struggle of the black people now i've understand 
and Danny finally understands it. He understands that he loves big diversity now. He loves big diversity and he loves politically correctness. He totally gets it. I'm totally on board with that. He's seen the light, the true light. He understands it all. He loves big diversity now. It was a good run, Danny, but they got you in the end, pal. R.I.P. Danny Baker, you legend. And then the rest of us, back in the barbed wire fence, get back, back, get back down to it. Pay your taxes, keep your mouth shut. Maybe someone else will run for the fence. It usually happens once a month. But for that one moment when Danny Baker pushed tweet on that picture, on that one moment he was free. And on that one, just for a few seconds, just maybe just a minute, he felt like a white man once again. I'll catch you later, folks. Fight him, fight him.